Alright guys, we are back here playing more Spelunky, and as you saw last time, we kind of pissed off the shopkeeper just a little bit. So what we're going to do, since we have this handy dandy shotgun, is we're just going to sort of kind of, you know, shoot the living crap out of him. There we go. Make sure he doesn't come back. Make sure he's good and dead. So we have spike shoes, means we don't slip around on ice and stuff. That's always nice. Climbing gloves. Ooh, climbing gloves are very nice. And we have spectacles, which lets us see through the rock like you can see now we have like gems and stuff here. Oop. Uh, bat. Die bat. Ooh, this is a fairly good run. We have a key here. This key is for this chest right here. Um, I forget exactly what it's for actually. It's something to do with getting to the Lost City of Gold. However, I am not very interested in getting to the Lost City of Gold at this point in time because at this point I'm just trying to stay alive. So, we will see... Oh, thank you, Cape. Uh, let's actually go ahead and... Oof. Let's actually put our gun over here and maybe put like a bomb down real quick and blow that up like I said at this point I'm just kind of try trying to stay alive here let's grab some money over here I don't have any ropes so I don't think I can go get Miss Damsel up there but uh, climbing gloves are nice because you can literally just like climb up walls so that's very handy. So I think we're gonna go ahead and wait until just, until just the right second. We're just gonna. Oh, okay. Oh, and we're on to the next area. We are in the jungle area. Ooh. Oh, that's the music. This is interesting. Oh, we have man-eating plants down there. You do not want to play with the man-eating plants because man-eating plants, as you can tell from their name, eat people. So, you know, that's like a one hit, like, hit, one hit, you're dead. Oh! Oh no, I got a monkey on me! No! Monkey! Monkey, go away! Monkeys don't really hurt you, but they will take your stuff. Which is not nice. I got one of those spiky thingies. I don't like that. There's the exit down there. So, I think what we're gonna do is just gonna... Stick with the plan that works. Just keep bombing out and trying to get. Ooh, this this could be interesting. It, we could get. Ooh. If memory serves correctly, shopkeepers do not die by man-eating plants. Oh, okay. Yeah, that shopkeeper. He gonna come back. Oh, there he is. Oh! Oh, no! The shopkeeper finally got us. Well, we'll just have to go again. First playthrough. As you can see, this is like the score area, kind of. First play, so... Let's, let's go again. And unfortunately, we start all the way back here. In the cave area. But... Now you guys have like a better understanding of what Spelunky is, so let's just keep going. And we got a damsel down there, that is nice. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this already, but these spikes, if you land on them, they're a one-hit kill, but like normal phys physics, you can just like walk right past them. If I were to jump up onto these spikes, that would kill me. Just walking past them, then doing it. As it should be. I should throw that out there. Uh, um, I'm probably gonna have to use like a bomb or two and a rope to get her. Um, yeah, that's probably worth it. Boosh. Oh, I'm gonna have to use two bombs. That sucks. Alright, let's try that again. Boosh. Got a bat up there. Dab bat. Oh, the bat hit me. That is not nice, bat. Woo, let's get this damsel. Get that heart back that I lost trying to save her. 
It is very easy to kill the damsels. You can use them to set off the arrow traps, which will take more damage. Oh, they don't take fall damage though, fortunately. So once she gets back up in just a second here, there we go, and she goes back in. Uh, but yeah, you can drop her on spikes. She can get shot by the shopkeeper. You can drop her in lava when lava later, you know, becomes a thing in later areas. I hear snakes. I hate snakes. This is one of those random happenstances that happens in levels sometimes. There's going to be a giant snake pit here somewhere in this level. Oh, here it is. Yeah, there's... There's this pit with lots, lots of snakes. I actually don't even know why I came down here, because it doesn't always have, like... It's clearly dangerous, as you can see. The only guaranteed treasure down here is those two gems. Oh, okay. Wrong button. It is important to press the right button in situations like this. Especially, I think... Actually... If memory serves me correctly, I think there's like a pickaxe under these two blocks. There is! Alright. Oop. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Oh, no, no, no. I did not mean to set that by my... Okay. Well, um... So, yeah. Out of bombs now, unfortunately. But we have this pickaxe, which will break eventually. Ooh, there's a shop up there. Ooh, guys. Ooh, guys. Ooh. I gotta tell you, it's tempting. Especially for, like, those climbing gloves. It's very tempting to go take stuff, but that makes things a Ooh, okay. That makes things a lot more dangerous in later levels, so I don't know if it'll be worth it. We'll take the chance. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Woo! He didn't get me. Fortunately. I wonder if I can, like... Oh, I'm out of bombs! Ooh, this is... Well. That didn't go as well as I'd hoped. Let's try that again. <laughs> okay. Note to self. Don't mess with the shopkeeper unless you really, 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 really want to. If he had, like, a jetpack or something that he was selling, which can happen, I would have gotten away easily. Wouldn't it? Oh, this is a teleporter thingy. I don't really like these. Because you can sometimes kind of, like, teleport yourself into walls and die. Oh, oh! Yeah, it kind of puts you into dangerous situations. So I'm, ju I'm just gonna leave that there. That thing's gonna get me killed. I'm just gonna take this rock. Rocks are more useful than teleporters. Oh, that's a giant spider. Okay. So, uh, what you want to do is... It always has those two webs under it. And it acts the same way as normal spiders, where if you walk under it, then they'll set it off. So what you want to do... You want to get a bomb here. And just kind of, like, leave it there. And, you know, flee the scene. So then blowing it up, we'll leave bomb paste and some gems for you. Isn't that nice? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and... Where's the exit? I think it's like... I don't even know. These levels are always gonna be set up. Let's avoid Mr. Spider here. And... Yeah, there isn't really anything else up here. So let's go! Okay, level one! We survived this time. Hopefully we can survive a few more. Oh, got another shop here. Uh, nothing super useful. I still have these coin slots. How much are they? Ooh, I don't buy things, like, ever. But, mm, I mean, uh, you know what? I, I think this time, this time, I'll leave the shopkeeper alone. Just this one. Probably not gonna happen again, but you know. I'm trying to like actually stay alive this time. We have an idol down here. Gonna get rid of this spider so it doesn't become a problem later. So what I'm gonna try to do, I'm gonna 
try to take this and run to the exit. Bad hit me. I don't care. I got the idol. Woo. Only got like two things of treasure, but you know, still, that's still pretty decent with the idol. Okay, so... Oh, another idol. Um, let's see if we can, like... Grab and run. Let's just run. Hopefully that boulder doesn't, like, come back to haunt me later. And, like, roll over me or something. Right, let's... Oh, there we go. That sets off the arrow trap. And... Ooh, there was an altar here. Ooh. That could have been dangerous with that boulder. Because if you destroy the altar, like, if you, like, use a boulder or, like, blow it up with a bomb, that god, Callie, whatever her name is, she's not happy. In fact, she'll... Ooh, a compass. What does that do? I forget. Oh, it points towards the exit. Okay. I get it. Why did I come over here? I'm gonna waste a rope. So yeah, don't ever destroy the altar. Take that and throw it. I don't want to hit myself with it though. That can happen. And it will still take two more hearts. Okay. Oh, another shop. Oh, that's a bomb shop. I'm not really interested. I have three bombs. I, I'm kind of okay, I guess. Well, there's that key up there. That's for the box. The... I could get it, but still kind of meh. Oh look, it's a caveman. I really like cavemen. Because if they see you, they charge at you. You can knock them out. You can sacrifice them to Callie. But, you know, I just try to avoid them. Oh, okay. Snake, maybe take this pot here. Play pot, not the plant pot. <laughs> Alright, and if I can jump correctly, we can uh, get out of here. Hey! Oh, I remember this guy. Hey there, I'm the tunnel man. I dig shortcuts. Oh god, you need a lot of money. Just take all my money if it'll d build you a shortcut faster. Basically what this guy does is he, if I give him all that money that he wanted, he will build me a shortcut in the little main screen. He'll build me a shortcut to this jungle area. I can hear rushing water. Oh, this one's interesting. This one's actually, I think, one of my favorites. The uh, rushing water one in the jungle area. I wanna know what's in that box. Cause really any kind of goodies can be in that box. It's probably kind of a waste of something because I just had to jump down there. They got piranhas in here. I hate piranhas. <laughs> okay. I want this box, damn it. What is this? Sticky bombs! I already had ah, I already had sticky bombs. Oh! Right, I forgot about that. Um, so let's just go ahead and, like, bomb that out. And then that plant will die. Ooh! Oh, I didn't know he would bring the bomb closer to me. Oh! Oh, that sucks. Well, it happens. So, guys... Video number two of Spelunky. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Like I said, I'm mostly just doing this in my free time. I don't really have a schedule set up for this series, mostly like I do with the others. But, uh, until the next Spelunky video, guys. Until then, guys, until then.